Today I'm exploring the coastal town called Cirella. It's just 14 kilometers from home. Been passing this few times by train and once with a car. Had a little walk around in a city. But the reason I came here is the because of that one, the abandoned ruins. Used to be some village up there. And this is the Italian cemetery. They have these little nice houses and boxes, so they don't bury people in the ground. And it's just very good. Yet another beautiful day, 1st of November 2022. I've got my beach towels also ready. Probably going for a swim later on. But now let's drive up there. And from here you have a better overview of the town Cirella in southern Italy. And there's a small island also. Close to the bigger town called Diamanti. The beach is all around, and that ruins are up there. Very steep climb, but with a scooter, it's not a big deal. Quite a few people are up there. And you can see my hometown from here. So it's just the last settlement before the massive mountain. You can really see my house as well. Right, let's check out the ruins. There's a little church thingy here, the nice views. There's some hilltops town, hilltop towns. Quite a few of them to explore the other times. Good old cactus. Greeting. <laughs> Bonjour. Wow, that is nice. Look at the surroundings. There are some hilltop towns there. That is very good. So, this is not about ruins usually. It's all about the views also. And from here the views are fucking awesome. So look at these fucking nice downs there. Need to find out which ones are they. And Diamante is right over there. It's another nice town. And right over there, there's a little triangle thingy. There is the amphitheater, but the gates were locked. So that will be nice to see. It's like an ancient round thingy for some events. Wow. 
Wow, I was fucking looking around and stunning. There's a castle here, and here are ruins. So these are the proper ruins there. It's not like yesterday. I had a little little bit more to explore, but uh, but yeah, the views are just spectacular. I couldn't even find much information about this uh, abandoned town I went yesterday, the Avena. It was abandoned in the 80s. But that's pretty much all I could get from there. But now I will check tonight. Should have done it before, but never mind. It's not some fucking history lesson. Well, that's nice. Well, I'll check it out later about this Cirella. Oh, I can have a pee pee here actually. I need to. Let's first go down there. I can hold on a bit. This will be my peepee -pee house. I had a lot of tea and coffee in the morning, so every time I go out, there's like a fucking hell. I need to pee a lot. To be or not to be. Uh, to be. But not in the pants. Di San Nicola Magno. And this is the loo. God damn it, that is a drop. Here's a double, triple bedroom house. That is must, uh, fucking hell. That must be from 18 something. 1800s because all this built work seemed to be rather old so next time I go with my kayak I will take this island to go around and there seemed to be some structure on top it's only a little one not as big as the Dino Island I saw a couple of days ago. These are nice ruins. I like. I like that. You have more. The uh, yesterday's village, Avena, was very rural. Here you have towns around and you have a sea, so that makes it more interesting. I was surprised to see my town, my town's beach, it was full of people. Let's go, let's go, sure, what's going on? I mean, it's not like, uh, you know, you have a one uh, sunny day in a week. But yeah, today especially. Here I see only a few one. A few people stay there, stay there. Somebody's swimming. But, but yeah, my town, which is over there. 
a lot of people. There's no official route here. I have to find my own way. Oh, fucking things. some signs here so they've done something for tourists that was really for like you know just just fucking ruins and and that's it of course this is I'm not going some some fucking random route but you can actually walk here it's okay and there are lights here so I bet in the evening they'll be all lit up Oh, look beautiful. It's quite a big village. I don't know if this is the earthquake. Town or just. Abandoned for some other reasons. Maybe people too lazy to climb up here. the last big earthquake in Italy and it was 2009 that was in central Italy quite a few nice little towns got destroyed a few and quite a few people got killed also Well, some things are rather sharp. Luckily, I put my jeans on it's just because of this kind of thing. That's a pretty big village. Or a town might be even. Might be. There's the railroad tracks there. And that one of the first towns in the yesterday's video was that one over there on the hillside. The Santa Dominica Talao. Right, let's find a way back up there is a some castle ruin oh, the road is getting better there's a bird there people up there oh that's a good one another fucking 
Brian Adams video will do here. As long as they are standing here. Let's go up here. That's a nice old view. Oh yeah, that'll do. Fucking beautiful. some views from a different angle see what's up here more ruins oh, yeah, people up here down there all the way that is incredible let's move to the other side of the village have some constructions up there I think that's the one when you come uphill you see that one maybe they don't want this one to collapse what is that wow beautiful structure and little cactuses Well, beautiful countryside. Not sure how you're gonna reach these villages even. Is there? I have to check the Google Google Maps. That road's going up there. Ah, oh, there is some church or something, barn people out there. So I'm gonna ride there. You could see the amphitheater from here, little seating area, circle thing it is. But I think this down, the left one, you must uh, reach it from the, from that side. I have a feeling. Yeah, in every step you have so many things to explore. Right, I'm gonna make my way down now. And here we have some information about the Cirella. Yeah, that is, that is a very old settlement. Oh, there's another very interesting bike part here next to mine. Wow, Honda. And behind me is a tower. Claimed to be this one big one the abandoned town is over there it's just a few hundred meters uh, 
and the big hill downs are over there. And that's the end of the road here. So the access to these downs must have been on that way for sure. Let's check out the other side. Buongiorno. What is that? A nice old barn. Let's check out the other side. Don't think it's a ticket entrance, it's just some people doing things here. But you never know, maybe it is. That's ah, the rat poison. Yeah, the fucking rats going in there, eating the ruins. Okay, now I'm thinking to go on the beach side because there are some nice little nature thingies to explore. So I might check them out. I'm not sure if today I'm gonna go on the top of the hills over there. It's gonna be some nice climb and views, I have to say. It's very tempting. I do have time. It's only about, I think, one o'clock. I have time about four hours till it gets dark. Yesterday I got home. It was just getting dark and it got cold already. So as soon as the sun went, Behind the mountains, I was like, fuck you now, it's getting cold, and it's some clubs. But now nighttime temperature was about 15, 16 degrees, but like if you're on a scooter, obviously the wind and everything, so. And there's a barn there. And a little park, proper car parking, and this is how it looks from the distance. Okay, heading down now. Still in Cirella, I found a way to the seaside. Look at all these volcanic formations. There's a little villa here. And that was the half island I saw from the top of the abandoned town. That is very beautiful things here. Nice flowers blooming. A lot of them here, on the 1st of November. Oh, yeah, smell pretty good. And you can see my hometown from there. Is where I came from and you could go up there also ah this is the other beach I saw from the distance so, so there's two of them like half islands here 
and that's the beach I went before but I decided not to stay at the moment the last uh, week I stayed on the beaches four days out of seven and every time I also went for a swim Diamante is over there. I've been there a couple of times. Proper Italian town. A lot of, lot of paintings they have there on the walls. And from here you can also see the abandoned town. There's a nice overview from this point. I don't know what that is. And there's some hole here, maybe some wartime things. I'm pretty sure it's a wartime thing to see. All right, yeah. Some bunker. Cirella. Very nice. See people. There's a bar. It was open. Now it's the Reposo. So called siesta time. So it's very quiet. Not much traffic in the town and everything is closed. I think that hotel bar was open. Small little cabins there. I thought these ones are abandoned, but actually I don't think they are, no. It's fantastic. So only go for a few miles, and actually, if I go a few miles that way, I'll be in Diamante, then uh, Belvedere Maritimo, and there was so much to say. The fireworks shells there. And that is a nice view from the abandoned town. What a beauty. I never came here on a seaside. I don't know why. But, you know, this, of course, like I said, there's too many things to see. Gonna walk all the way up there now. Seen that one went further from there as a proper walk. Fucking shit in my shoe now. Fucking bastard. I need to check it out. Now you have a proper view on the abandoned fella up there and the left side two of them towns and this is where I walked before a few people on the beach so this beach is here in in this area and that area they're miles along you can walk to my beach home beach as a proper one. Of course, you don't have any umbrellas in, in, in the summer season. These are all full of umbrellas, bars, and shit, of course. Well, for some reason, usually from September, they remove some of the things. Of course, you know, it's not so touristic, luckily. Although, I get shitloads of local tourists in my town. July, August, it's crazy. It's a few hundred thousand people in a town. Normally leaves like 10,000 there, local residents. But there are shitloads of houses. There's a train going. A 
was thinking to go for a swim. Not sure yet. I'm very fucking warm, I feel. Oh, that is just the perfect overview of that. I'll take it easy today. I'm not going to go up there to this old village. Not today, but I'm going to go definitely one of these days. Beautiful. Like I said, I am not gonna go to this hilltop town I saw from the... You see there is the abandoned, if you can see. But it was only four kilometers away and I still have daylight. And why not to go? I'm nearly on the top. And the other town did I see abandoned? This is not abandoned. Maybe I said, I don't know. Uh, this is a proper town and behind that town is another one. Hopefully there's a viewpoint. I can see the other one. Fucking hell. Good stuff. Decided I'm gonna walk around this town or a village. And there are the ruins of Cirella I went before. The sun's coming up. The fucking last car came up. There was just so much smoke behind that one. It's fucking hell, it's a very, very steep climb. Even I felt sorry for my scooter for what? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go to explore that town a bit further. My era is that one. Buongiorno. So, here it is. My era. 360 meters above sea level. Right, let's go for a walk through the Mayera in Calabria. You got pharmacy here, oh, you got fridge. I think it's full of books there. That is very nice. Got nice views. I think that is the main road through the town. And you got post office. Wow, this is very good. The other one on the other side of the hill or the, or the cliff is, I think it's called Grisola or Grisolia. Sale, this is for rent. Bar sign. Proper Italian town. Wunderbar. B and B, another sale sign. There's another road going somewhere and this is already the another another town fuck you know that is great that's quite a long town i think it is grisolia but i promise i'm not gonna go there for sure definitely because it's quite a way i think it's uh, from here is like 10 kilometers if there's a way from, well, obviously it's too steep, you can't go like that. Even with a car. They have some nice sculptures. Wow. That is so cool. There's a museum back there. 
because it's really going down. It's like yesterday. But yesterday there was more forest. Now I can see the whole picture. It's so quiet here. Fuck you know. What a beautiful place. Some more figurines here. Again, I didn't expect that to be such a such a charming town, especially that views go further. Because if you are in Sirella, you can't say that it's going further. Right, yo, let's go down from here. It's not the end yet. Wow, well, this is a proper antique. I just almost got it, you see? Just a second. I'm not gonna go down there. Let's go down from the other side now. seen anyone really apart from these two people in the beginning This is where I've been before. So that entrance went all the way around, very nicely organized. You can hear some voices. And that is it, my little walk in my era. Now, I'm going 
slowly, slowly, I'm back to my hometown. Do a little bit of shopping. Uh, we'll see if there is a time for a beach. And we'll go to the beach. But now it's about three o'clock, I think. So I might go. We'll see. See you later.